Okay, well, quickie video. I had one of my subscribers ask me a question that I did not know the answer to. So I came out here in the cold, and you see this cold, 34 degrees, my little engine temperature gauge that I added. So he asked me this question, if the Tech 2 could read how much fuel is in the fuel tank, I'm assuming he's asking this question because his fuel gauge is no longer working on his dash, the gauge down there. So, um... So I came out here and got to playing around with it. It took a while. I finally found it. So let's go. Let me get my camera in the right spot so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So let's get the enter button here. And we want to go to diagnostics. Let's go down to 2005 because that's what we got. So we're just going to learn this together because I keep learning more every day I play, play with this tool. It's Let's go to Workhorse. We've got the W24. All right. And let's go uh, Powertrain 8.1, five speed automatic. Got the good Allison. Let me see. We don't want diagnostic codes. We want data display, I believe. Engine data display. Okay, now is that. When I first came out here, I went to engine data one, engine data two, didn't find it anywhere there. Then I went down to enhanced evap data, evaporator, evaporative emissions. So I thought that's a good start. That sounds like it might be there. So let's drill down to that. I've been trying to find me a good book on this thing. I, I really can't. I just keep trying to figure it out as I go. Enhanced evap data. Okay. And so here you go. So this, I'll highlight it here. So you can see right there, fuel level sensor is showing 1.9 volts. So at least the the data from the fuel gauge is reaching the computer. Of course, mine works fine. So if you had a problem with your, your fuel gauge wasn't working, this would be a great tool because it would uh, let, at least let you know if your gauge was communicating with the, co with the computer. If you're seeing this data, because it tells you, I've got uh, rated capacity 71 gallons, fuel remaining is 40 gallons. So um, it, that is helpful if, if your gauge is not working. Of course, you probably don't want to drive down the road with something like this. But at least this way you know that your fuel gauge, because our fuel pipe, gauge and pump is all one assembly. And I think for the W24, it's, that's probably 500 bucks maybe. So once you get this information, you say, okay, well, at least you know your gauge is working. But if it's not reading here on the dash, there's something else you can try. So, of course, mine is working. But if it wasn't, here's what I would try. I would go to get my camera in the right spot. So go ahead and you push and hold this button. And I'll be able to hold it for a few seconds and then let go. Okay, then we have some options. Then you scroll down. you got to kind of jump on it. You can't wait a while. It'll go back to normal again. And let's go to, we want to go to cluster diagnostics. Once we highlight it, you just don't do anything. It'll go in, into the gauge test. Then don't, don't do anything and it'll start doing its thing. So, so check my RPM gauge. So that's good. And it'll cycle through each gauge. All right, I'm assuming the fuel, yeah, there we go. So there's doing a the fuel gauge now. So if you did this test and your fuel gauge didn't operate, then you know you got a problem with the gauge, you got a problem with the cluster. And um, you'd send that off to Brazzles and Brazzles could fix that for you, no problem. Uh, and then you got the temperature gauge. And then it just keeps going through the loops d doing this. So, and let me see, I gotta remember how to get out of this. Okay, so you says you hit, hit mode for to exit. There we go. And scroll all the way. You can do all kinds of different things. And I've got a separate video on this showing all the different things you can do with your dash cluster. And somewhere we can get it. There we go. Exit menu, just highlight it. Don't, we, don't do anything. And it'll get out of there. There you go. So, anyways. I thought that might help somebody out if you're having fuel gauge issues with your workhorse. This may be help you troubleshoot the problem and everything. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. It's cold. I'm going back inside.